So uh, we're going to start off four bananas. Um, more on the ripe side, if you can, definitely. Before we get to the rest of our ingredients, instead of regular flour here, um, which you can use, we're going to use barley flour. Uh, barley flour is something we just started using, and it's, I love I love this flour. This has become one of my top two, new fave. top three new flours. Um, you can buy it again. Uh, a lot of bulk stores have it. Some grocery stores have it. Um, you can make your own, which is super easy. Uh, all you need is barley, so can't Surprise. really get easier than that. <laughs> um, barley flour. So this is pot barley. You can use pearl pearl barley as well. Um, you can do it raw. I toasted this in the oven just to get a little bit of color on it. Uh, you get a little bit of a little bit more of that nuttiness, a little bit more of that flavor. Barley has a really nice when it's toasted. It has a flavor that is almost similar to I'm gonna get chef here, but almost similar to the the earthy flavors in chocolate. And you wouldn't think about it that way, but when you have toasted barley, it is very similar to dark chocolate. So it works really well in a dessert like this. So barley, uh, if you have a coffee grinder, I don't use this for coffee, I just use it for... <laughs> barley. Barley. You have a designated barley grinder? Yes, it's just my barley. <laughs> and grind it up, takes one minute. Uh, but that's it. That's what it looks like. And we're barley using, flour. There you go. Barley flour, again, is rich in soluble fiber. Oats and barley are great. How long do you have to bake it? The, oh, to, to toast it? Um, low heat, so like do like 350 for about 15, 20 minutes, just so you get some color. You can do it on top of a pan too. Um, and then again, that's just, you An don't need to do step. that. It's yeah. an extra step if you, if you want to. It smells wonderful. It's, yeah, it smells really, really nice. Um, so our smush banana, Christy did a fantastic job <laughs> smushing. Yay. We're gonna <laughs> add the rest of our wet ingredients. Uh, so we have uh, yogurt, about half a cup. This is just plain yogurt. Again, getting some of that protein in there. That's right. It's really good. Honey, uh, I find bananas to be pretty sweet on their own. So I'm just adding a quarter cup. But. We're not adding just like uh, just regular sugar. You, just, you know, you do honey. You can even do maple syrup if you want. Um, instead of butter or oil, which is key in making a nice kind of banana bread, we're gonna use almond butter, or you can use peanut butter as well. So that's it. Two eggs. That's the last thing I added in here. You can do the flax egg. We've, we've talked about the flax egg before, but again, pretty fibrous. Pretty fibrous. Yeah. So if you can tolerate it, if not, go for the egg and just mix it until it's well combined. The hardest thing here is, is for the almond butter because it stays kind of solid, but until you see a nice, even looking mixture, that's it, done. Cinnamon, just because I like cinnamon. <laughs> it's a good enough reason for me. Vanilla, again, because I really like vanilla. Stir that in, and then we're gonna add our flour. So this is one and three quarter cup of our barley flour. A little bit of baking soda. Mix it up. I like this technique. I know we're running out of time, so we'll try to do it as fast <laughs> as possible. The barley flour comes out really nice. So that's it. It's a better substitute in recipes for yeah. white flour, because it doesn't have that dry. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Cookies. Yeah, and it's a, it's a one to one you can, you can grease it up a little bit if you want with a little bit of butter or oil. The parchment paper works really well though. All right, smooth it out into the oven, 350 degrees for about, if you're doing a loaf like this, it's about 50 minutes to an hour uh, because it, it's a very kind of wet, moist bread, but it gives you a really nice result. So about 50 minutes, you can test it with a toothpick if it comes out dry, it's done. And, um, and I mean, you can dress it up whatever way you want, but you just put this on the counter, put a knife beside it, and it'll be gone in two days. Like